Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about interview, question and answers related to Core Java. The topics are exceptions and strings. Before starting, you can uh, note these information which includes my app, books and YouTube channel. These information will be beneficial for you. Now coming on to the questions. First question is what is exception handling? Answer is exception handling is a mechanism to handle runtime errors. It is mainly used to handle checked exceptions. Next question, what is difference between checked exception and unchecked exceptions? So first is checked exceptions. The classes that extend throwable class except runtime exception and error are known as checked exceptions. For example, IO exception, SQL exception, etc. Checked exceptions are checked at compile time. Second is unchecked exception. The classes that extend runtime exception are known as unchecked exceptions. For example, arithmetic exception, null pointer exception, etc. Unchecked exceptions are not checked at compilation time. Next question, what is the base class for error and exception? Answer is throwable. Next question, is it necessary that each try block must be followed by a catch block? Answer is, it is not necessary that each try block must be followed by a catch block. It should be followed by either a, class, uh, either a catch block or a finally block. And whatever exceptions are likely to be thrown should be declared in the throws clause of the method. Next question, what is finally block? Answer is finally block is a block that is always executed. Next question, can finally block be used without catch? Answer is yes, by try block. Finally must be followed by either try or catch. Next question, is there any case when finally will not be executed? Answer is finally block will not be executed if program exit exits either by calling system.exit or by causing a fatal error that causes the process to abort. Next question, what is difference between throw and throws? So first difference, throw is used to explicitly throw an exception, whereas throws is used to declare an exception. Second. Checked exceptions cannot be propagated with throw only, whereas checked exceptions can be pro propagated with throws. Third point, throw is followed by an instance, whereas throws is followed by class. Fourth point, throw is used within the method, whereas throws is used with the method signature. Fifth point, you cannot throw multiple exception. Whereas you can declare a multiple exception example, public void method throws IO exception, SQL exception. Next question, can an exception be rethrown? Answer is yes. Next question, what is exception propagation? Answer is forwarding the exception object to the invoking method is known as exception propagation. Next question, what is the meaning of immutable in terms of string? Answer is, the simple meaning of immutable is unmodifiable or unchangeable. Once string object has been created, its value cannot be changed. Next question, why string objects are immutable in Java? Answer is, because Java uses the concept of string literals. Suppose there are five reference variables all references all refers to one object that is such an if one reference variable changes the value of the object it will be affected to all the reference variables that is why string objects are immutable in java next question how many ways we can create the string object answer is there are two ways to create the string object by string literal and by new keyword Next question, why Java uses the concept of string literal? Answer is to make Java more memory efficient because no new objects are created if it exists already in string constant pool. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्ट्रिंग एंड स्ट्रिंग बफर ऑब्जेक्ट आंसर इज स्ट्रिंग इज एन इम्यूटेबल ऑब्जेक्ट वेयर इज स्ट्रिंग बफर इज अ म्यूटेबल ऑब्जेक्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ कैन वी क्रिएट इम्यूटेबल क्लास इन जावा आंसर इज वी कैन क्रिएट इम्यूटेबल क्लास एज द स्ट्रिंग क्लास बाय डिफाइनिंग फाइनल क्लास नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द पर्पज ऑफ टू स्ट्रिंग मैथड इन जावा आंसर इज द टू स्ट्रिंग मैथड रिटर्न द स्ट्रिंग रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ एन of any object if you print any object java compiler internally invokes the two string method on the object so overriding the two string method returns the desired output it can be the state of an object depends on your implementation next question what is nested class answer is a class which is declared inside another class is known as nested class there are four types of nested class member uh, first is inner class second is local inner class third is anonymous inner class and fourth is static nested class next question what is nested interface answer is any interface that is declared inside the interface or class is known as nested interface it is static by default next question can a class have an interface answer is yes it is known as net nested interface next question can an interface have a class answer is yes they are static implicitly thank you for watching these question and answers hope these question and answers will be beneficial for your placement thank you